Hey, what's up, everybody? Pastor Javen here from the Kearney campus. Man, I'm so excited for what God's going to do this year. I'm excited for what God's going to do in your life, and I'm excited for uh, what he's going to do through New Life Youth. Our theme this year is Jesus over everything. And this last Wednesday, we talked about uh, prayer and how important that is. And so we challenged you guys this last week uh, to, be, to fast one thing and to pray and seek God. Uh, just in, in asking God, hey, would you just realign my thoughts and help me to focus on you and prepare me for what you have for me this year? And so uh, we this whole last week, we've been doing some devotional videos. You can go back and check those out on our YouTube page or our social medias. But I wanted to uh, end this, this Devo week uh, with this verse in uh, John 15, starting in verse 4, and it says this, Remain in me, and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you remain in me and my word remains in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given to you. This is to my Father's glory that you will bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. Here's one of the things that we know is that if you want to grow and have a healthy relationship with the Lord, it starts with developing a personal prayer life. My hope this week is that you are encouraged and that as you took time to just seek God, um, I pray that he showed some things to you, revealed some things to you. Uh, but I want you to know it doesn't stop here. We need to continue to be connected to Christ and what he wants to do within our lives. Take some time today and, and just thank God for what he's done. Thank God for what he's going to do. And let's just believe that he, in 2020, he's going to do some amazing things. Thanks, guys.